excuse the fact that it looks and sounds like I've just woken up that wouldn't be far off. I'm at my desk a little bit earlier than your average day today uh, because I want to try and get all my kind of like admin -y bits done pretty early so that I've still got a full day um of work ahead kind of thing if that makes any sense like all the admin stuff takes such a long time and there's so much faff things like emails and banking and doing my spreadsheets and stuff that all takes a big chunk out of the day i'm still in my pajamas i've got my stranger things t-shirt on so not exactly boardroom ready not quite sure i'd make ceo but hey i have of course armed myself with some warm caffeine for this task um that's only fair <laughs> That would be the cat. I've made myself a little coffee. I feel good today, actually. I've got this new habit in the mornings. I turned the camera on to like show it. I've got this new habit in the mornings and it's gonna sound such like a silly small thing, but I really feel that it helps like slow me down a little bit in the mornings and like return my stress levels to a vaguely normal amount. And it's like this tiniest change that I've made where rather than just like blindly making a cup of coffee and going straight to my desk, I literally take like, it's literally like five minutes first thing in the morning where I go and make myself a big glass of water. <laughs> Everyone watching this is going to be like, you make a glass of water. Congratulations. No, but seriously, I make myself a glass of water and I take my vitamins and my supplements in the morning and I literally just take like five minutes with no radio on, no telly, no background noise. I'm not like scrolling while I'm doing it. I just take five minutes to look out the window and drink my water, <laughs> take my vitamins, feel like I'm doing something good for myself. And it's just like five grounded minutes of just my thoughts to myself to start calmly and nicely for the day. That's my tiny little life hack for you for the day. If you're not doing that, I really recommend you do it. Just do it by yourself. Don't talk to anyone while you're doing it. If you live with someone and they're like, why are you drinking a glass of water in solitude? <laughs> just be like, Lucy told me to. It's for my own good. I must drink this water alone and take my vitamin D. <laughs> and then once you've done that bit, look at this. Look who it is. <laughs> then once you've done that bit, once you've rehydrated, once you've stopped yourself from being a raisin overnight, once you've taken supplements that your body and your brain need, then you can start your three cups of coffee a day. What else is on the card today? I think mostly today is actually a shop day. Um, I haven't really shown you anything to do with the shop on here. I've kind of vaguely mentioned it, but um, hey, maybe I'll show you how that all goes down today because that's mainly what I'm going to be focusing on. Excitingly, I've got an appointment with, like a Zoom appointment with the bathroom designer of the wholesaler that we're buying some bits and bobs from. Um, so she's like made a 3D model of our bathroom plan, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. I'm hoping it visualizes in the way that's been in my brain for like five months. And then this evening, I am doing a stereo show with my friend Jenny, which I will tell you more about in a bit. Anyway, I'm going to get this down my neck. The glass of water and vitamins are good for me, but they don't hit the same. They don't hit right. Okay, slightly more fresh face now. A little bit more zing to my step. I've had a shower, I've put a little bit of makeup on, although I was just sitting at my dressing table down here and it is so dark and miserable today that I was basically doing my makeup in the pitch black. So if it looks like I've struggled with life today. <laughs> While I was in the shower, Posty just brought something magical. You always know it's gonna be good when it's a Joni clothing bag. Um, and this was a really lovely surprise. So thank you very much to Joni for sending this over. I am so excited to show you this. So fellow book nerds across the world, be prepared for something that's gonna make your heart do a little bit of a flutter. If you watched my last book video, it was a couple of weeks ago now, um, I included in that 10 books I'd read recently, Little Women absolutely loved it talked about nothing else on my instagram story for like 10 days turns out Joni saw that i had read little women as well so for world book day look what they sent they've done a collection of t-shirts of classic books and one of them is little women and look how cute this is so i'm gonna guess we've got meg joe beth amy these two perhaps interchangeable um, it's got, that's got to be Meg with the pretty hat on, but I love the little flower detail with the yellow. They're so cute. I literally cannot wait to wear this. I think they've also got a Pride and Prejudice t-shirt and a Wuthering Heights t-shirt, which <laughs> I'm currently reading Wuthering Heights, so I feel like it's only reasonable that I treat myself to a t-shirt to let the world know. <laughs> Look, I know a lot of you used to come to this channel for fashion tips and tricks, 
but these days we wear Emily Bronte t-shirts only. And also in the package, you might have caught a glimpse of this colour that I've got going on right now. I've just chucked this in to try it on. I'm probably not going to stay in this today because it's uh, it's not quite loungewear. It's a little bit jazzy. But I think I really like it and it's totally not what I would normally wear. Let me show you. It's a little collared short sleeve jumpsuit, which I think is super cute. I'm really into it. The colour looks more mint on screen, but in real life it's actually, it's almost kind of like, super bright lime coloured. It's really unusual, but I actually really like it. I think probably like a lot of people, uh, I haven't been feeling too hot about my body recently. I've definitely put weight on during lockdown over the last year or whatever. Um, that's still something that I find, you know, a bit tricky to process and stuff. Um, it's very difficult to not revert back to terrible old ways when that happens. So, um, and I think also obviously the fact that like some days you don't get dressed into proper clothes and like all I'm wearing is either tracksuit bottoms or leggings and giant jumpers. Like it's all just an equation for feeling slightly crap about yourself, isn't it? And it's weird because some days I literally don't give it a second thought. I don't care because a lot of the time it's that's not an important factor in my life anymore, which is really nice. But then obviously some days you just feel rubbish, don't you? Um, but actually, trying this on and wearing like a nice new item of clothing <laughs> has made me feel slightly better than usual. I don't think I'm going to stay in it because it's really nice and I might save it for the weekend, jazz up the weekend slightly and go for a nice walk in my lime green jumpsuit. I just put the camera down and realised that sounded way more negative than I wanted it to so I just wanted to add a little, a little side note into the margins here just to say that if you have put weight on over the past year or so while we've all been locked inside our own homes, like that is that is quite understandable. It's not really, it doesn't warrant a topic of discussion because it's almost a, a given. Like if you are someone who's not going to work every day right now and doesn't have access to a gym and you're not really supposed to walk too far away from where you live, all those factors do kind of add up to, hey, you'll probably gain some weight. And I just wanted to say that if you are a bit like me and your brain kind of automatically rewinds to when you were in the depths of despair with your body and stuff, um, I just wanted to say that I'm, I really kind of understand where you're coming from. I feel like I'm getting really emotional saying this out loud. I really understand where you're coming from. It's so difficult to kind of keep yourself in the present and not fall back into really bad old habits and bad techniques and bad mindset and all that kind of stuff. So this is just a little reminder, if you're in the same boat and for myself as well, saying it out loud, to say that if the worst thing <laughs> that happens to you in a global pandemic is that you've gone up a jean size, that's all right, little pooch belly, that's all right, little pandemic pooch, she's okay. And I mean, it's just kind of a given really, like what am I doing? I'm sitting on the sofa and sewing a lot. Um, when I feel super stressed and anxious and weirded out, I do some baking, which I find very therapeutic, but it also means there's baked goods in the house <laughs> a lot of the time. Takeaways are bringing quite a lot of joy because not much else is, I mean, if, that, if you're doing things like that to keep yourself happy and, you know, ticking along at the moment, then that's okay. You're allowed to do those things. This is just a note from me to you to remind you to really not beat yourself up too much. Keeping yourself as happy as you can at the moment, that'll do. And that was my little public service announcement for today. Comfy t-shirt back on, normal service has resumed, no more looking super stylish. I've just got back to my computer and returned to a WhatsApp voice note from a friend who shall remain nameless to save save any potential awkwardness. Uh, she's forwarded on a voice note from a guy who she started talking to to show that he has a very sexy accent. I've replied to her to let her know that he actually sounds a lot like a movie villain. Also, how cute is my new little mouse mat? I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's from Catnip Studios and I just think it's the cutest thing. We had to invest in a mouse mat because we swapped to mouse and keyboard setup with laptop as like a screen because um, Adam was getting a really, really bad net. So we had to upgrade our setup slightly. We've gone for like a proper laptop stand so that you can use your laptop as a proper screen and then we invested in a separate keyboard and mouse situation so that it's a bit more like sitting at a proper desk. So I've got about 10 minutes now until this bathroom consultation which I'm really weirdly excited about. A just to talk to a new human being that I've never spoken to before and also wow that's a real sign of the lockdown times isn't it? <laughs> a new human being. So while I wait for her to come online for the zoom. Um, I'm just going to quickly explain this stereo show which I'm doing later which I'm so excited about. So if you haven't heard of stereo yet, if you're not on board with the stereo hype quite yet, stereo is an app which you can download straight onto your phone and I think the best way of describing it is like a live show hangout 
app. It's a really cool concept and you're basically able to listen to live conversations, live chats from your favourite people online, celebrities or just like random people who are talking about interesting things. So if you are a podcast fan, if you love listening to podcasts, this will be right up your street. Stereo have very kindly sponsored this vlog which is so awesome because I am absolutely loving doing these shows. It is me chatting away along with one of my close friends Jenny who you will probably have seen in videos before. She was in the Disneyland Paris vlogs. Anything that kind of can sort of keep you company or make you feel a little bit less alone that you can kind of tune into and listen to and feel like you're hanging out with friends. I just think it's a really perfect time for something like that and that's what I've kind of been using my stereo shows as just if people want some company while they're making their dinner. If you go to your partner or a friend or someone you care about and you just kind of you know you're having a bad time and you want to talk to them about it you should let them know what you're seeking from the conversation and whether it's advice, comfort or venting mm. that you would like that you would like to receive in return and I think it's really important in any sort of situation because I'll do it with my friends as well like if I'm in a, like I said I'll come to you and be like oh I'm sad or I'll come to you and I'm like I'm just really needy today or I'm in yeah. such a good mood do you want to hear why the best bit which I've just loved while we've been doing these shows is the voice note feature so it means that if you're listening to the show you can record a voice note to send to us you can head over to my profile on stereo you can find me on there I'll link it in the description box down below for you and you can go back and listen to the shows that we've already done but the next live show that you can tune into and get involved with is going to be Friday the 26th Friday night download stereo come over hang out with us we can have a really good chat who knows what we will talk about but it'll just be like one big hangout and we can chill out together keep you company and it'll be great so hopefully see you there and ladies and gents that is what you call amazing timing because bathroom lady has joined the chat <laughs>
into the middle so then you wouldn't be able to see the toilet from the kitchen. I wish I'd mentioned it in the last video because that was actually one of the ideas that we have been through. I did think about that and for a while I was convinced that it was going to solve the problem but then we started thinking about well when we get the kitchen done how does that affect Actually, let me show you. Let me go and show you. Mind if I pause your podcast for a second while I'm... Okay, Google. Pause the podcast. Snazzy tech in this house. If we were to move the door over, it would be really nice for the bathroom, but it would take out quite an important bit of the kitchen. This corner is probably where the fridge is going to have to go because of the layout of this kitchen. This is pretty much the only space that a fridge can go. This corner is where the doorway is. We've got the dishwasher plumbed in there so that'll probably have to stay the same. So this is really the only space where a fridge can go so we kind of have to keep this as a wall. So it was a possibility and it would have solved a lot of problems but it's not the one. And that's that. I'm trying to think in the bigger picture further down the line we don't want it to affect the kitchen too much because we also want to have a nice kitchen. And Adam is so bored of talking about bathrooms. So bored of it. I, I love it, really. <laughs> Something very exciting has just turned up. Well, it's exciting for me. It might not be that exciting for you. I'm excited. Okay, where should I put you? I'm gonna put you here on the shop shelves. You're balanced on my shop tissue paper. So I was gonna um, film today while I like pack orders for Goldust Road because that's not really something I've really shown you anything of. It's like a separate little business that I'm running these days aside from like my social media stuff. And I'm really, really enjoying it. It's such a nice creative outlet. I love sitting and designing new little products. And it's a real like feeling of satisfaction and joy when they turn up and they're like a ready-made real thing for me to send out to actual humans. In this box right here is um, two new products for the shop, which I am yet to see. Uh, I've just opened them and had a little peek in, but so I wanted to design a couple of little greetings cards to have like on the website and on Etsy as well. I think cards and stuff are quite nice to have on Etsy. Um, I did a few Christmas cards and I loved doing those. The Christmas ones came out beautifully and I loved them. I've got one here actually that I can show you. This was my favourite one that I did. It's like a little retro Christmas decoration design. And at the moment I feel like sending someone a nice little card to cheer them up, reminding that you love them, reminding that they're doing well, reminding that they're not alone. I think that's a really nice thing to do. So I wanted to design a couple of cards so that people could do that. So these are going to be in a new little range that I'm going to do on Goldust Road called Care Cards, which I thought was quite a cute little concept. This is the first design that I've done. Um, this is the official reminder of your amazingness card. I'm hoping that's going to be focused, but it's like a little old-fashioned ticket that you might give to someone. And I got this lovely gold foil detailing done. To be honest, they're quite expensive to get made. I don't make very much profit on these at all. <laughs> they're not like a good lucrative product, um, but I think they're a really nice kind of staple for me to have in the shop. And then they're going to have little brown envelopes. So it'll be like that cute and then the second design I've done I've just done two to start with to see how they get on obviously everything I'm doing for gold dust road is trial and error but this is the second design so I wanted this one to be like a real positivity uplifting vibe and it says well what's the best that could happen and I feel like this is one for someone who's maybe a bit down on themselves at the moment they're maybe focusing on the worst that could happen so this can be a little reminder of what's the best that could happen well, I'm so pleased with those <laughs> They've turned out even better than I was imagining, actually. So if you want to get your hands on one of these, by the time this video goes up, these will be on the website. So if you've got someone that you could send a nice little note to, they're there if you like them and you have someone that might like one. But maybe next time when I decide to do a daily vlog, I could show you my little packing process and stuff. Because there's a few fun elements to it. I've got like personalized tissue paper and stuff. I love sitting and like wrapping up the orders and using all my stickers and stuff. I'll also have to take some new photos of the new cards to make sure there's some nice images for the website. Oh, I'm feeling so relieved about those. But I was I was fairly confident with these anyway, to be honest, because I really like the designs and the foil makes everything pretty anyway. <laughs> this is gonna make the light go crazy, but I invested in this tiny little like photo studio light box for helping to photograph products for the shop. It was super cheap, um, but it was a good little purchase because it just like perfectly lights tiny little products inside it and it's really handy so if you have a little small shop and you find it tricky to take good photos um and your products are quite small <laughs> most importantly because this is tiny it's a really nifty little product i recommend it this evening light is really 
it's not working for me all that well. <laughs> and also our, our peach wall looks like a delightful shade of mustard in this light. Which I actually don't hate. It is loads later now, obviously. I think I last spoke to you like mid-afternoon. I ended up having a really busy afternoon. I got quite a lot of orders packed. I got my new cards packed up. That was great. Uh, I had a little bit of writing that I needed to do. And then I was on stereo, which went really well. We had such a good time. It was such a fun show. Um, it's turning into like my favourite part of the week doing those shows. So it was a bit of a late one today. I feel like I've had quite a long work day today. Um, but a nice hour, chilled out with Adam on the sofa. We watched the new UK Drag Race which was great um I really recommend it by the way it's literally the best thing on television at the moment if you're not on board with it yet you need to be well as you might be able to tell I have come up to bed a bit early tonight I've got like one of those dull headaches just like hanging around here I got myself quite worked up earlier I felt very anxious and stressy and like very like tightly wound and I think now that it's manifested itself into a big fat headache so I think I mentioned earlier I'm currently reading in my little book sleeve, currently reading Wuthering Heights. I'm not very far in, I'm only like a little chunk in, but I'm really enjoying it. Although, do you know what? I, I picked this up thinking I should read this because it's a classic and I've never read it and I'm trying to read more classics this year. But now that I'm reading it, I feel like I've read it before. <laughs> There's been loads of passages in it that I've kind of had major deja vu with and I'm almost convinced that I have read this before and I'd just totally forgotten I had. Unless maybe I studied like passages of it at school or at uni and I'd just totally forgotten. And before I start wuthering my heights for this evening, um, the other thing that I like to do before bed is this little book. It is this little question a day book. Um, it's pretty much what it says on the tin. It's a tiny little journal full of prompts basically for every single day um, and it lasts over five years so I'll just randomly pick a page and show you what it's like. April the 12th, write down a new fact you recently learned. So you fill in 2021, you write your answer for April the 12th this year and then the idea is that you fill it in every day for five years and you can keep it as like a little record of your thoughts for half a decade. Normally I kind of forget I've started these things and let them go but I've actually stuck to this one so let's see what today's question is. What's the most expensive thing you're wearing now? <laughs> it might certainly be this scabby old t-shirt that I'm wearing right now. Perhaps it could be the pajama shorts that I purchased from Primark many moons ago. Perhaps it could be the absolute lack of makeup on my face <laughs> currently. Hmm, what to choose from this luxury setup? I think the answer is actually my glasses. It's certainly not anything else that I'm wearing right now, so it must be my glasses. <laughs> Who knows what my answer could be in five years time. Maybe I'll be wearing a large diamond tiara to bed. Anyway, my headache and I are now off to bed. What an end to a vlog, hey? A stress headache. After I started this vlog as well being like, oh, I'd love to have my glass of water and calm myself down. Here we are. Thanks guys so much for watching. Hope you're doing all right. Hope things are okay. Um, keep your chin up and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye. Mwah.